Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Last time, we fought some, uh, monsters. That's pretty much all there is to it, you know, just zombies, eyes, skeleton, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, today, we're going to Seraphew. An ominous wave of dark creatures washes over the continent. Erica's journey to find her brother Ephraim grows ever more perilous. Still, she presses on despite the danger. Her will is strong. The town of Seraphew, located on the border of Reneus and Grado. The people of both countries have long used the town as a meeting place. It stands as testimony to the friendship the two nations have shared these many years. Now, however, Seraphew is teeming with Grado troops. Well, that's no good. Gotta do something about that, yo. Can't have them troops being in there. Just saying. Just saying. Well, well, there's an arena in this town. Perfect. My pocket's feeling a bit light. Say, is that a cleric? It is. And a gorgeous one at that. Something to miss, sister. You look flustered. Ah, uh, pardon me. No, pardon me. I never meant to startle you. May I offer my apologies? No, it's not necessary. It was my fault. Excuse me, I must be going. Good day to you. And there she goes. Not my lucky day. She was quite the beauty too. Ah, uh, such is life. I think I have time still to visit the arena, though. Captain Sar of the Seraphew Border Guard, how fare you? I bring orders from His Majesty. Rumor has it that Princess Erica of Reneus is making her way to Grado. You are to find her and to place her in custody immediately. Yes, sir. One more thing. A traitor to the Empire has fled Castle Grado. We've received reports she is hiding somewhere here in Seraphew. I don't care if you have to tear this town apart. Find the turncoat. Yes, sir, General Glenn. She resists. Do we have permission to execute her? Yes, permission granted. Understood. Grado's will be done. The Grado Empire will repay the debt of betrayal with blood. His Majesty relies upon you, Captain. Be sure his trust is not misplaced. That is all. Yes, sir. Uh... Such loyalty to the crown. If only I could hold such conviction in the righteousness of our Emperor. Something troubling you, brother? No, pay no mind to me. Come, Cormag, let's go. From here, we ride northeast, back to the fort. Very well. well. A lot of new faces showing up, huh? It's been so long since I last visited Seraphew. My brother and I used to pass through here on, en route to Grado. I remember the harmony in which the people of both countries lived. No walls divided our borders, no soldiers stood guard in high towers. This border town, it was to me a symbol of the trust between Grado and Reneus. And now it is firmly under the thumb of Grado's Emperor. The peace I remember in this city. It seems like something from another time. It seems lost now. Forever. The city doesn't seem to be very heavily patrolled. They must feel it's not worth guarding with Castle Reneus under their control. We must try not or try to not draw attention to ourselves. The West Gate is undermanned. Pardon me, may I ask you a question? Oh, that was not the, uh, cleric. What is it? I'm looking for someone. Have you seen a young girl with indigo hair? Indigo hair? No, sorry. Hmm. Thank you. Sorry to intrude. A lot of new faces showing up. There was something very odd about that man, wouldn't you say? He did seem unusual. 
He didn't strike me as a great old spy, but... Catch her! Don't let her escape! That way! She went that way! What's that? It's coming from over there. Let's see what the commotion is. Traitor Natasha, surrender peacefully. Come quietly, and you may have the chance to explain yourself before his majesty. Wait, please, you must listen to me. Take her. No, you must believe me. The Emperor is not himself. You must be able to see that. Impugn the Emperor at your peril. We've been ordered to execute you if you offer any resistance. But your words condemn you. That cleric is a traitor to the throne of Grado. What madness is this? Ah! Are you alright? Who are you? I'm from Reneus. Why are these Grado men after you? You're from Reneus? Oh! I have something I must tell you. It's about Grado. Wait, Grado soldiers are coming this way. We'll have to talk later. Now we must fight. Okay, so, new map, let's roll. Well, let, let's take a look first. So yeah, we got a lot going on. You know, we got some peeps up here, fighters instead of brigands. I know, amazing, right? In my Fire Emblem game, um, we got Captain Sar right there with the javelin. He's pretty annoying. Uh, just taking a look, seeing what everybody got. A lot of fighters, honestly, um, though not much in the way of stealable items or even droppable items. It is what it is. So yeah, um, we also have some towns we can, or houses we can visit. We have a vendor right there, an arena right there, and an armory. Um, yeah, so now we can actually start level grinding at the arena, like if this were Fire Emblem 7. However, I will not be doing that for reasons we will get into uh, later. Though, I mean, it's not like I can't come back. Is this a map where enemies might show up later? Actually, no, no, this one isn't, I believe. But it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. So, uh, friendship ended with Mulder. We got Natasha now. She's a cleric. I mean, okay, granted, her magic is not starting off all that hot, but I mean, she's at level one right now with the men's staff. And I kind of only need one healer right now. So, yeah, both Mulder and Natasha, all they can do is heal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all they can do. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't ooh, I don't know who to bring for this one though. Let me check that map again. There are some Lance users. Not a lot. I mean, I'm definitely not bringing you. Mmm. Magic users though. Um this is tough. This is tough. I'm not gonna bring Garcia. I definitely wanna bring you. I want to keep Arthur, but loot. Six, six, three, six, six, two. I'm, I'm looking at magic uh, skill and defense. Just to switch things up, and she is lower level, I'll bring her, and I will bring Colm, because another sword user. Just doing some last minute thinking. There's not much I have to do in the way of items, either. 
Well, okay, I'm definitely like storing that pure water. Yeah, I think I'll be fine in that regard. And also, with two new people, gotta realize where they are. Okay, well, Natasha automatically joins us. She has supports with three characters we have yet to see, as well as Seth and Franz. And then we have Arthur. So far, he only has Loot and Naomi. And a, the dancer. You have supports with the dancer. I may grind out turns to see how that works out. Because I remember this dancer. That, that will be interesting. <laughs> and with loot, she currently has Arthur, Ross, and Vanessa, as well as two characters yet to be seen. All right. I'm taking a risk with this one. Honestly, I probably should bring Garcia with me over loot. But I want her to get some experience. And I definitely want to keep you away from the axe users and the archers, which shouldn't be too bad. There's no sword users, only one sword user. Do I really need these? Do I really need you here? I'll risk it. Um, okay. Let's roll out. I'm not too confident in this, but we'll be fine. So much for my dreams of making my fortune here. First the girl, now the gold. It really isn't my lucky day. You there, mercenary! What are you doing here at the arena? Get back to staging, or the staging area now! Come on, why don't we both hit the arena? It'll be good training. If you're going to risk your life anyway, you may as well try to earn some gold. I'm reporting you to the captain. You'll be lucky if he just docks your pay. Don't forget, you can be replaced in an eye blink, you filthy sellsword. Don't worry, little man, I won't forget. Works work, but I don't like fighting women. Now then, what's the rest of the day got in store for me? Tails, huh? That's nothing but bad luck. And more bad luck. They may not want to hear what I have to say, but... I must speak with one of the great old soldiers. Oh, if only one of them will listen to my words. Please, grant me strength. I... don't quite know what the, uh... Tutorial would cover here, um, but... Would it cover the arena? No, probably not. But all right, so yeah, this is Joshua. He's a Myrmidon. I am... I'm definitely afraid of his stats. Yeah, the strength may be eight, but that speed, he is going to double attack on anyone, and he has a killing edge. That's frightening. So who has the most defense right now? Yes. Yeah, Definitely you. Okay. Because, yeah, Joshua is recruitable. But, well, first things first, my goal is to get Gilliam in this forest with nothing equipped to lure Joshua to attack him. And then Natasha can talk to him to have him join us. And what do you got in here? Well, hello there. Is Everybody showing up in this chapter? I really do not remember this. Oh, hello. Did you come to see me dance? I'm sorry, but I just finished a few moments ago. Oh, by the way, would you be interested in one of these items? A wealthy patron left me a small ransom in gifts after watching my performance. You can sell one for gold if you'd like, or use them to improve your skills. I simply cannot carry all this by myself, so please take this one. Wealth is useless if you can't use it to bring happiness to others. 
Right. Thanks for dropping by. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. We got a dragon shield. Ooh, I want to use that on you. Act well, no, your defense is actually really good. Holy crap, six. I mean, good comparatively speaking. But yeah, increases defense by two points. Vanishes after use. It might be worthwhile to use that on you. Or, hmm, four, yeah, yeah, you, pretty much a magic user is what you want to use that on. Good God, I'm, I'm a little worried here. All right, um. Okay. Yeah, just wait right there. Get your little boost from the, uh, thing. Port. Can I move you one over? No, I cannot, but I can get you prepared. Okay, gonna start mobilizing you. Yeah, she'll be fine right here. And we're good. Wait, I need to do her animation. On. So we can see what a cleric does. It's the exact same thing as a priest. Only woman. They are mobilizing indeed. Oh, Oh boy, brigands. Look at this, now's our chance. Come on, lads. Let's join the fight and steal our way through this pathetic town. The brigands are gonna go for right there. Oh no. Okay, so. Yeah, just wreck them. I'm still very upset that Colm got hit. That was, um, not ideal. Yeah, just wait right here. They may attack her, they may not, they may go for him. I'm not afraid of him dying though, like, he will live. Ooh, I should not have moved her right there. Oh no, she can still heal. So this is a men's staff in action. It heals for more, and it gives you more experience. Slightly more. Okay. Honestly, he can probably take him on 757. Oh yeah, he can definitely take them on but at the same time I want to be careful yeah they can handle this can I draw anyone down? He's probably gonna go for Franz, but we'll, we'll see if he'll go for Colm. I could... No, she can be utterly destroyed. If she goes to that corner, she will be fine. And that'll put her ever closer. It is that specific corner, right? Yeah. And that'll put her closer to the village. All right, so now we're um, pretty much at like my strategy for uh, 
the majority of the game, at least how it was in uh, seven. Just let my knight do everything. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to do. Good job, Franz. Okay, skill and speed. Nah, it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. You are attacking her. That hit. I swear to God. Hmm. Okay, uh, Vanessa ain't about to do a damn thing. <laughs> Vanessa is not going near that house. <laughs> I'm making sure of that. Um, yo, yeah, yo, like, everybody's gangsta until an archer shows up. Um, plus, if I have her attack him. If she is able to beat him, like either the fighter or Joshua is gonna run up and both will probably be able to kill her. Yeah, she can't even take him out. Like no matter what, she's gonna be in range over there. I could see if, ooh, no. Wow, okay, yeah, that brigand has her number. Um. You are going to come and attack her. Rapier will take him out in one hit. And she got the critical. Okay, nice level up, nice level up. Yeah, she can't even go over there to heal. Okay, I can at least move in your way, equip that. Yeah, it's gonna be at a disadvantage against that soldier, but it'll be fine. You can't attack her. I can have you retreat for a bit. Now, for over here, Hmm. Decisions. Okay, and then I really hope Naomi can take him out. She can. Or should I have did this the other way around? Well, no, because Naomi just leveled up. Okay, all right, you know, not bad, not bad. And they're not in range of anything, that's good. Now, for over here. I could... No. Yeah, you will be taken out, but I want to make sure... Mmm... Can't attack twice. He, Ross may get attacked here. But that's fine. It won't be the end of the world. And if I have him attack with the hatchet, he will be able to get a counter attack in. Well, let me just see how much damage it would do. Six? Yeah, that's not bad. Like, I could have gone with the Iron Axe for more damage, like, from the jump. But I want to make sure he'll be fine for a counterattack. If he attacks loot, that's just a death wish. Uh, but I, I have a strong feeling he's going to go for a... Uh, 
uh, Ross. You know, just healing just for some uh, extra experience, that's all. Okay. Yeah, all right. It was a hit, but I'm, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. And you're going to get him on the counterattack. Level up, all right. Oh, I should have moved Natasha closer to Erica to heal. Get him loot. Yeah, I, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made over that. But I wanted Natasha to be ready to provide backup just in case things went awry over here. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to have Ross right there. They should be fine now. This team is fine as well. Aside from that Lance user. Colm is going to be at a disadvantage in this encounter. But that will be fine. Just move her right there so he can get a little boost. Move you closer now. No matter what, I do not want him to be in the forest. Okay. Good. Good. You can't attack. Oh, but no, 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 no. She she still needs to heal. Okay, well, I can still... Well, first let me make sure Gilliam can take him out. If he can, actually. <laughs> okay. Erica, you cannot get hit. B all right, all right, all right. Iron Axe, if you have a Steel Axe, okay. Level five, level five. Theoretically speaking, if the other one has the same exact stats, she will take the same amount of damage should she get hit, so she will still live. I kind of want to just stick with the rapier just in case, but no. I did not handle this half of the map as well as I could have. All right, good. All right, he's, well, he's dead. He's absolutely dead. Really, you can't attack twice? Huh. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. Want to make absolutely sure.
you gotta love how you know you get you, you have to recruit the myrmidons with killing edges <laughs> by having a very weak unit speak to them And you have to go about a roundabout way of getting it done, <laughs> lest you get them murdered. Life in Seraphue has been harder since the Grado occupation force took over here. Seraphue's got Renea's citizens as well as Grado, but it's been hardest on us. They've singled out any, or families from Renea's for the most awful atrocities. Please, Traveler, take this sword. It's an armor slayer. It'll cut through even the strongest armor. Take it and strike down that black heart. Tsar. Armor Slayers are good. Especially against knights. Yeah, we can store that. Let me just make sure you're out of the way. Okay. Anyone close to leveling up? Technically you. But... Luke can do it. Alright, not bad, not bad. Yeah, the rest of this should be easy pickings. I mean, I know it's not going to hit, but... Yeah, alright. I just did that just to mess around. Good job there, Franz Kafka. Ooh, strength and speed. He's... He's he's doing pretty well for himself. You know what? We can go ahead and visit the vendor. Why do you still have antitoxin on you? Eh. But yeah, we can go ahead and visit the vendor. I'm not going to get much here just an extra f fire an extra lightning two extra heal staffs and that'll be it okay we have one heal staff like a spare one for molder uh, one for you so you can actually like not use up all your mend and then backup magic is always a good idea. All right. Plan's about to go into motion. Brigands! So now... Oh, but this isn't like the other games. This is not like the other games. I can't just say de-equip. Um... I want to make sure that he will not kill because he very well could kill Joshua and we can't have that now can we? And he got this square on lock. I want to make sure they can get to the house before these brigands do. Otherwise, yeah, Vanessa's fine. Go ahead and heal just to do something. Get some experience. She's even getting more experience than Mulder. Like, but once you get Natasha, you don't need Mulder. <laughs> All right, diagonal of the entrance, so get that iron sword ready. And yeah, you're probably gonna take him out, so no experience here for Ross. All right. Oh, 
Okay, Franz is becoming uh, a little scary. I ain't gonna lie. And here we go. The moment I saw how much damage he could do, I was like, oh no. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's death number one. Uh, that's, that's going up on the, uh, yeah, like, like I said, I was going to be, um, doing the, the nation thing. So, all right, off to an amazing start here. What could I have done differently? Like, there's... <laughs> He's a freaking knight! I, I was prepared for anything. What? He was a knight! Oh my god, how... Oh... No, Franz would have died. Um, dang, should I have used the sword or the dragon shield on him? Oh my god. Oh my god, I might have to bring Seth. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to bring Seth. The <laughs> He was in the forest. Maybe if he had something equipped. No. Oh my god. So either bring Seth. Pray I get a level up and he'll get a defense point or uh use the dragon shield on him that G genuinely i'm at a loss as to <laughs> my strategy was sound like this this wasn't even hubris this was just RNG curb stomping me. All right then. Um. Oh my God. Wow. So yeah. Um. My uh, inexperience with this game is showing. Like, not so much my inexperience with Fire Emblem. I'm actually pretty dang good at Fire Emblem, despite what you might be uh, seeing happen in these here chapters. But, uh, no, my experience with this particular Fire Emblem, it, uh, it is showing. Let me just go ahead and rebuy these. Because... I forgot a little something about Joshua. It is something I should have remembered. Cause I remember, like, I, I was just, hold that thought. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, can't, whatever, just, just go for it. Yeah, all right, I, I knew that wasn't gonna really do much of 
anything there. Um, hopefully I have not sealed your fate. 93, 88. Go for it, buddy. All right. But yeah, I forgot a little something about Joshua. Which is kind of sad because it was something that I, um... Like, I have memory of this and using it to my advantage. But in my years of not having played this game, I kind of forgot it was a thing. So, um, let's see, you... Okay, I got everybody just out of your range. Can I move you? No, you're going to be within his range no matter where. I'll just move you over one just to... I guess I can move you up one to sort of get you ready to mobilize. All right. So, yeah. um, Time to stop being vague here. So, yeah. um, Joshua has... A pretty interesting thing he does in the US version of this game. Yeah. He will not attack Natasha. Ever. For some reason, he will in the Japanese version. Well, I mean, I, I guess he's a ruthless killer there, but yeah, in the US version. If Natasha is within his range, he will not attack her. If I were to move anyone else, he would attack them. You would think like, oh, well, you know, he's not going to attack a woman. No, like if Erica is in his range, he will attack Vanessa, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, just Natasha. Just Natasha. Mm. But anyway, let's go recruit him. I'm a little nervous. I'll have her talk to him right here. You? You're that man I met. Are you here to capture me? You've been hired to silence me, haven't you? Yeah, Grado's paying the bill. They want you dead, you know? <laughs> but don't feel bad. It's not personal. Wait, please. It doesn't matter what happens to me, but you must hear my words. The Emperor of Grado has changed. He is not the man he once was. The other nations must be warned before he extinguishes all light from our lands. Hey, no offense, but I'm just a mercenary. I don't care about Grado or its emperor. Everything you say may be true or it may be lies. I don't care either way. But that's... Even so, couldn't a beautiful lady like you would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Tell me, do you like to gamble? What? Gambling's what I live for. Even when I lose, I never want to stop. Let's have us a little wager. If you win, I'll believe you. Heads or tails, you call it. You can't. This is no time for games. Would you rather I get on? I did not press a button there, but okay. Man, things get really weird when the gamepad dies and... <sighs> Whatever. Would you rather I get on with the job I was hired for? Um, heads. No, tails. All right, so I'm heads and you're tails. Here we go. Which, which is it? What do you know? It's tails. <laughs> you win. Figures, I haven't won anything all day. Well, Lady Luck has spoken. I guess I'm on your side now. Are you serious? Yeah, sure. I might cheat, but I never warm out of a bet. It's a rule of mine. Oh, thank heaven. Thank you. Blessed light for your protection. I got nothing against heaven, but I'm right here if you want someone to thank. No? Well, get behind me then. I've got to take care of these fools. Two steps ahead of you there, buddy. So now we have Joshua and, um... Oh, no, his stats remain the same. Okay, cool. Um, normally, they don't do that. That is actually very good. Very beneficial. Very beneficial indeed. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave him right there. Uh, he is going to make short work of these here bandits. And get you ready to go over Dar. And um, yeah, we, we should be home free now. We should very well be home free. I could move Erica up and maybe take on uh, this clown. Yeah, why not? Wait, will this put her in danger? No. Sure, why not? Help the cause. And you can chill right there and over here. Equip that iron sword. All right. We're good. We are good. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I forgot to turn on his animation! Ah! Oh well, you already know what a critical hit looks like. I've been hit by one. I'm still a little salty about that. Only a little. O only a little. Okay, maybe a lot. So yeah, uh, Franz is like... Scary right now. I was unaware that he was at level 7. <laughs> Like, I knew I was using them a bit, but wow, dude. Okay. I cannot remember if Sar moves. I would like, or I would not like to find out. Um, yeah, you'll be safe in that forest, but it's going to take you a minute to get there because your movement sucks. Ross? Anyway... Might as well stop in the armory then. Oh boy, we got some interesting things here. We got slim weapons. I really don't buy too many of those, honestly. Ooh, I will buy one steel bow. Um, I cannot remember what Garcia has on him. We'll, we'll buy one steel axe. I'm not going to buy one for uh, Ross. We'll buy a steel lance. Screw it, too. One backup iron lance just to have for a rainy day. Yeah, I'm refrain from steel or slim weapons. I'll get one extra steel sword. I don't think I need an iron sword. I, I think there's one in uh, supply, so I can just have uh, Joshua grab that. No big deal. Alright. Wish I could easily check. I mean, I, I can, but... You know, whatever details. Um, God, I wish loot would have been able to level up here. I didn't completely replicate everything I did on the initial attempt. So some things are a little bit hazy. But we'll be fine, all things considered. And another village to visit, or house, whatever you want to call them. In my youth, I was a knight of some renown, I'll have you know. I've even crossed blades with one of Grado's most famous generals, I have. Oh, but I'm an old man now. I'm starting to worry. What if I die without passing on my techniques? So I decided to write down what I've learned in a book. I have it here. You seem like a strong warrior. I'd be honored if you would accept it. We got a secret book. It just raises your skill by two points. Yeah, put that in the uh, supply thing. We can go ahead and uh, wait up. Get you right there. Get you some healing. <clears throat> We're all good. We're all good and duh. Put all righty dead. I could have Joshua take out them, but eh, it ain't that deep. 
Instead, I will show off the arena with him. So yeah, the arena, it's brought back from previous Fire Emblems. All you do is bet money on a fight. It is very, like, Hmm. It's about, well, I mean, it can be beneficial to abuse the arena to get a lot of money and a lot of experience, but it is not necessary in this game for reasons we'll get into later. But yeah, here's the arena in all its glory. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wait? 670 is quite a bit. Because the thing is, once you're in the arena, you can't back out. So... You don't know who you're going to fight until you agree to enter the arena. The higher the amount of money, the harder your opponent is going to be. Meaning like you might fight like higher level units or promoted units. They might have the advantage on you in the weapons triangle. Usually four to five hundred. You can pretty much bet on being able to succeed. Six to seven hundred, it can be up in the air. It, it might be a little bit tough, but you might pull through. Eight hundred, back out. Like it, it ain't, it ain't worth it, fam. I'll give it a shot. Bring one of the iron axe. Oh God, hell yeah. <laughs> what was I afraid of? I mean, yeah, he'll have me in three hits, but I mean, he has to hit me first. So, yeah, um, if you do decide to agree, like if the money's looking good and you decide to uh, go ahead and fight, you, um, you know, and like you see your enemy that you're going to fight, if at that point you see, oh, wait, this is not good, you can actually reset the game and you'll start off right outside the arena and you can move them out and move somebody else back in and like in the turn, reset the RNG so that a different enemy will show up for them, etc., etc. So yeah, that is essentially just arena abuse in a nutshell. Find out what enemy you're going to have to fight, and then reset if it's not one you think you can deal with. Get somebody else in there, reset everything, and there you go. Well, not, not reset the game again, like that'll just like reset the RNG. Uh, I will not be doing that though. I did hit it pretty hard in Fire Emblem 7. I will not be hitting it hard here. Anyway. Hope everyone's well back home in Silva. Just a bit more and I'll be in the Empire. Let's see. I've got Vulinaries, Antitoxins. Oh, and I can't let myself forget torches for when it gets dark. Yep, I'm all set. Now I just need to get to the capital. I'll be the finest soldier the Great Old Army's ever seen. I swear it! Hmm? What's this? She dropped a torch. <laughs> well, it's ours now! Oh hoo So yeah, like, I'm still amazed at the sheer amount of people that show up in this chapter! It is a lot. It is a lot. Alright, yeah, you going into that forest, boy. With that iron axe, boy. Now, I, I'm, I'm fairly tempted to have loot go in there just to level up, but let's not be greedy. Let us not be greedy. Greed kills in Fire Emblem. Oh, am I fully aware of that? I wonder if I can get these brigands to come down. Hmm. I don't know. Th this one's gonna be interesting to say the least. But we can wait, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much I'm just biding my time here, just trying to lure the enemies inward and wreck them. Okay. Hmm, they're coming down. Interesting. Alrighty. Loot might be able to get the kill, yo! 
or maybe not. Um, this is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Um, hmm. You are definitely gonna come for uh, Ross. Ross can, he'll survive. I don't have to really worry too much about that. Just keep that equipped. Ooh, I probably should buy an extra iron sword just for you, actually. Eh. Honestly, wait. Will you be able to attack? No, you can't attack the forest. I'm just gonna do this to lead him down. He's gonna go for Colm over, uh... Joshua, I was dead ass about to call him Guy. Still in Fire Emblem 7 mode, sorry. Wait, let me just make sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I just want loot and or Naimi to level up. Okay, well, I mean, Naimi already leveled up, so ju just loot. Just loot. Min maxing for the magic girl. Okay. Get him, Ross. My goodness. Oh, you did not move where I wanted you to move, though. I mean, I was right that you were going to attack him, but I wanted you to move up, buddy. Oh. Seems we have reached an impasse. Do I have Colm finish him or do I have Loot finish him? Hmm. Yeah. Because I was going to say I could have Loot assist with the boss, but he has a javelin and I do not want her dead. One moment. On days like this, I remember the wise words of Carface from All Dogs Go to Heaven. Morons. I'm surrounded by morons. All right, so, um, see, to do, you got an iron axe. See, I, I do not remember if you move. He might. So... Yeah, first I want to lure you out without killing you. All right, well, Colm can tank this. I'll get somebody over here to like assist or get ready for the kill, I don't know. Maybe Joshua will finish him off. Yeah, that might be best. Or you, you know, whatever kind of mood I'm in, we'll, we'll see. And... Wait, will that get you killed? No. Because he is a knight who is not capable of movement. Sure, why not? Yay, another level up. Boo, another phone call. Had to teach a grown man how to print. Some days you ever just want to cry? All right. Um, yeah, just end him. Okay, Franz, I might need to uh, chill out. Was he always this good? Holy shit, his growth rates. I'm just, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Re reel it back, reel it back, reel it back. Um, yeah, because I'm going to get you ready to get up there for um, Sar. Whatever. How do you miss with a 91? Okay. Oh my god, only his skill went up there. 
And again, he doesn't deserve a good level up after that. Like, he, he, he does not deserve much of anything. All right, only doing this because I cannot remember if you move. Meanwhile, I can just start mobilizing everybody else who has the Armor Slayer Yildo. But... Oh yeah, she can definitely take him out. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Boom. Get him. Ooh, so close. All right. Let, let me just see how well you might be able to do this without the Armor Slayer. And then I can just move everybody else up. Ooh, will that put her in danger? No, it will not. All right, go ahead, heal him. Seriously, I never have to use Molder again. <laughs> I, I don't know, I might swap back and forth just for, uh, you know, j j just to be nice. I guess. He does not move. That is interesting. You're right next to a forest. Really? You're not gonna move, buddy? Okay, well, there is not a damn thing Vanessa can do here. Oh, wow. I can get in two. That would cause her to level up, though. Would it be a fulfilling level up? Not really. All right, well, let's start getting everybody else in position. Let me guess, Franz can just flat out murder him? <laughs> oh my god, man, he's... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let me just go ahead, do a little more trading. Kind of want to have Joshua get the kill just for uh, story's sake. I don't know, the, the choices are endless. And by endless, I mean finite because I only have a specific number of units here. All right, how much damage? <laughs> Oh my god. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot, buddy. Um Honestly, just for the level up. Just for the level up. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. My God, Joshua could actually kill him if he got two critical hits, which is a very real possibility. Oh my God. You love to see it. You love to see it. Yeah, I know Naomi ain't about to do a dang thing. Um, let's just see where this goes. How much would you be able to do here? Oh no. He could put in some work, but I, I'd be a little worried here, but I might uh, let him attack just to get some experience in. We're gonna be doing some experience creep. Enemy of the Empire, death's too good for you. He just looks so bored. It's like, ah, darn it, I have to fight. I didn't sign up for this. Just wanna go home and drink some tea. Not bad, not bad. Could've been better though, but not not bad, not bad. Do you have Volunaries on you? No. Do you have Stress Relievers on you? Unknown call, the, the, the area code is 71. That, if that is, that scream scam. Good Lord, like, my. I was born yesterday, but I stayed up all night, dang it. All right, uh. I don't know what I want to do. The possibilities, yo. Hmm.
the choices. There, there's too many choices. I'm so indecisive. I, I can't. I can't pick. I'm. I'm frozen. I'm. I am frozen with indecisiveness. Anybody else you can heal? Just. I don't know, dude. I don't know. At least you can get some experience in, my dude. Oh, not like that. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to, like, actually, like, get my butt in gear here. So. Bam. Honestly, I could just have loot solo this. I'm very tempted. You know what? Let's be stupid about this. Oh wow, he don't even want none of Ross. I don't blame him. He ain't want none. Nah, he ain't want none. Meanwhile, go ahead and get your heal in. Ah, uh, I won't be able to level her up. That is most unfortunate, but... Dang, if only I had... I am tempted to have Ross go to the arena, honestly. I am very tempted. That would be the best idea, honestly. We can wait one more turn here. Don't get greedy. Let Sar do all the attacking. Now, moment of truth. Who gets the kill? I don't know, man. Well... My, my inner min max is coming out here. I will not have Ross get the kill for reasons. Go on, er Okay, go on, Erica. Emperor Vigard, glory to his majesty. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I stands it. That was a tight spot. Yes, yes it was. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay. You're from Grado, aren't you? Yes. My name is Natasha. I was a servant of the people at Grado's Imperial Temple. Then why the trouble with the soldiers? Would you tell us your story? Of course. A few days passed, my mentor was arrested without warning. They executed him. They said he was a traitor, but those were false accusations. The Emperor had him killed, a holy man, to keep him silent. Keep him silent? Yes, my mentor told me with his final breath. The Emperor plans to destroy the sacred stones. The sacred stones? Destroy them? As you must know, the sacred stones drove back the power of evil long ago. Even now, each of our nations is home to one of these legendary treasures. There's one in my homeland, Grado, and one in your, Reneus. Yes, the sacred stone of Reneus is still housed in our royal temple. The Emperor plans to destroy the five stones one by one. Why would he do such a thing? Legend says the sacred stones are even now all that keeps evil at bay. I cannot begin to guess his motives. You must know, Ripper was a gentleman, but one day he changed. Utterly. Before my mentor died, he said the keepers of the sacred stones must be warned. I tried to slip across the border, but the soldiers spotted me. Is that what happened? What do you think, Seth? I think we can trust no one from Grado. 
Not in these times, not without proof. However, if what she says is true, we cannot ignore the danger we face. Destroying the sacred stones, we cannot allow that to happen. I agree. If only we knew if there were some reason for the Emperor's actions. I must tell you, her story chills me to the bone. I pray it is false. Moment, please. Are you perchance... Princess Erica? I am. Oh, thank goodness, you're safe. Can't tell you how happy I am. And please accept my gratitude for driving off that Captain Sar. That Sar treated all the citizens of Reneus with such contempt and brutality. Not here. Not in this city. My brother and I spent such happy times here with Leon. The Lion. However you want to pronounce it. There needs to be a pronunciation guy. I beg your pardon, but it will not be long before Grado sends more troops. Please, you must go quickly. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do for you now. Please forgive me. Do not be troubled, Princess Erica. We will survive and wait for the day of liberation to come. There will come a day when you, Prince Ephraim, and all of Reneus rise up. Until that day of glory comes, we will wait unbowed with fill, oh, and filled with hope. We got a guiding ring. Really, this early? Okay, um, well, yeah, my first promotion item, and I can't use it. <laughs> Not even if I want it to. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can use this to promote magic units. Currently have four, none of them are at level 10, so, uh, yeah. Won't be using that. But we are done for today, and what was that? 5X? What is going on? We'll find out next time. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for the first and only Gaiden chapter of Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Goodbye. Yeah, there, there's only one of these chapters in the entire game. It's kind of messed up, yo.